Eddie Bravio, Jiu-Jitsu Wiz. You know, Eddie, let's get some predictions for UFC 134. We got in the main event, we got Anderson Silva fighting Yushin Okami. What are your thoughts on that fight? Mm, Yushin Okami definitely has a chance to win a decision. If he, you know, he they fought before, and he was winning that fight. As, as far as I could remember, he was winning that fight and then got DQ'd. Uh, Anderson Silva got DQ'd for up kicking. So. He has a, a possibility of grinding out a decision. Kale, uh, Chael Sutton almost did it, so my money's on Anderson Silva, though, but you never know. Okay. In the co-main event of the evening, we got a rematch between Forrest Griffith and uh, Mauricio Shogun. Uh, what are your thoughts about that fight? That's too close to call. That's a tough one. Forrest Griffin's tough as nails, got pretty good hands, got good footwork. His jiu-jitsu is decent. Shogun's an animal, and it's going to be in Brazil. That's a tough one to call, but if I had to go with someone, I'd go with Shogun. My home court advantage. And the third, uh, the third fight, we got um, MMA legend. Antonio. I'm fighting. I wish you were fighting. Okay. What are you? Uh, you're undefeated, right? You're MMA, MMA career. Yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. We got uh, Antonio Nogueira versus uh, Brendan Schaub, an up-and-comer in the heavyweight division. What are your thoughts? Do you think Schaub could take him out? Do you think Nogueira takes him down and possibly submits him? He's another guy that's fighting in his home country, so he's got a lot to fight for, just besides the fact that he wants to win. But he's fighting in front of his hometown crowd. He's fighting behind. He's got his whole country behind him, pretty much. Yeah, that's going to be a hard fight for Nogueira, even though he has the home, home court advantage. Brendan Schaub is young, aggressive, he's on a roll, he's tough as hell, and Nogueira's kind of, you know, at the end of his career, sort of, I guess you might say. His chin's a little suspect as of late. I'm going to go with Brendan Schaub in this one. You talked about your MMA career being undefeated, you're zero and zero. If you were to fight, how I've do you... had one draw, though. One draw, okay. Zero, zero, and one. Zero, zero, and one, okay. If you were to fight, I mean, how do you think you would match up against some of these guys? I'd get my ass kicked. Unless they started on their knees, then I have a, sh a chance. But the, the stand-up game, I would get knocked out. I wouldn't be able to take anybody down. Yeah. Hopefully they start a, a league where you know you start on your knees, an MMA match, an MMA event. I would do that in a heartbeat for $2 million. Well, for $2 million, maybe we could get you the co-main event, the J uh, James Tony and Ken Shamrock fight. Nice. That's as long as we start roles. on our knees, I'm good. <laughs>